get ready with me and talk about my experience living in Korea for five years. Before anything else, I'm applying my lip balm because my lips are gonna fall off my face. This is the glow lip balm, we're obviously obsessed with it. This is my cleansing duo, get into it. So I'm still in Korea, I'm not going anywhere, but my five year anniversary was last week, so there you go. I love it here. I see Korea as my long-term home. As of now, I don't really see myself living anywhere else. So we're gonna start with that and also why <laughs> everyone and their mom seems to be having a hard time here. I already know the foreign police and the first generation of Korean netizens are gonna congregate together to factory reset my existence. And you know what? I don't give a shit. A lot of things going on these days. I don't know if you've heard, but low tier people are roaming around with knives. So apparently that's a thing. One of them quite literally in the street that I walk through every single day, no big deal. But I mean, Korea is still safer than 90% of the countries out there, so. And yeah, not a lot of cities, oh shit. Not a lot of cities feel like that to me. But this is the Isn't Tree Magward calming clay mask by the way okay then again i've lived in the states so you can tell that my standards are non-existent as long as you don't shove a weapon in my face in exchange for my phone whew, you got me all hot and bothered i still feel safer in seoul than i ever felt in paris although uh, paris got better guys you can actually take your phone out it can you believe it? Things have changed. Everything still has its ups and downs. I mean, we're obviously gonna have to talk about discrimination, gender equality is quite literally a piece of advice here. But when people talk about those, I'm always kind of like, I can quite literally say that about so many different countries. If anything, Korea is one of those less confrontational countries, so you're not really gonna have to face it for. And yes, you're gonna have the occasional crazy ajushi on line one that's gonna stare you down and like, yell at you for your own breathing and i myself was in a few situations like that when people for example tried to make me pay a little more for services that i used and whatnot just because i was a foreigner yeah that definitely happened to me when i was moving and stuff but it, twice actually anyway i'm gonna rinse this off and i'll be back i forgot what i was saying it's okay you're gonna get looks okay listen it's not fair that god made me this way the least i could do is let people take a peek i'm confused you guys because these kosarex eye patches like none of them look the same look why is one of them this size and another one literally the size of my cheek like what's going on and this is it's folded it's half of it it's like it, it doesn't even like you can't even cut it now i'm aware i'm not a woman i'm not black i'm not southeast asian so obviously from the get-go i'm gonna have less stuff to be discriminated about oh my god are these for smile lines i i if you know anything about this please comment but yeah i was saying i'm not really here to educate anyone this video is not it's just about word vomiting it's not really <laughs> racism and privilege 101 also you know what good luck discriminating i don't leave the fucking house like, you can't even get to me and leave the house for what like to get right over with the way people drive here i feel like traffic laws are just <laughs> considered as like vibes don't leave the house don't take cabs it's for the better and everything here is so convenient i don't really need to go anywhere last time i ordered agendas i think it was 11 p.m right it came at 2 it came at 2 a.m like three hours later and it wasn't even some kind of like expensive instant delivery service kind of thing it was just like amazon prime kind of thing services here are insanely cheap food delivery the efficiency and cost you can pay someone 10 bucks an hour to clean your place and you're gonna be very happy with it wish you could get fruits delivered for that cheap here but everything's important so you have to sell a kidney if you want a strawberry and at that point i just don't feel like it's a good deal you know honestly you know what my diet 50 percent burgers and 50 percent ginger i don't want to live long <laughs> i've seen enough <laughs> no puedo mas no puedo mas i'd rather just live a short and exciting life which you can absolutely do here as a foreigner. So, so many opportunities. Well, less now than five years ago with the number of foreigners increasing in Korea. But whether it's office jobs, freelancing, modeling, you have a lot to do here. You're also gonna do a lot better if you speak the language, which I think is obvious and it's kind of sad that we have to point that out. Because listen, I'm gonna be honest, if you don't speak Korean and you complain, your experience is immediately less valid to me. And yes, if you're my friend and you cannot speak Korean, I'm talking to you. And I've probably said it to your face anyway. You know what? I kind of get it. Sometimes you're just not good at stuff. Like, I'm very bad at math, for example. And I'm very bad at exercising. 
right? I still found a way to pass my classes and then I found Pilates after a lot of trial and error. Like a famous philosopher said, impossible is nothing. But yeah, when there's a will, there's a way. So suck it up, I guess. Another thing that raises my blood pressure is when people are like, oh my God, it's so hard to connect with Koreans. I feel like there's a wall and I can't make friends here. It's so difficult. I am cordially inviting you to grow up. Make foreigner friends then. My best friends are foreigners or foreign Koreans and I, I'm, I'm having the best time of my life. It's okay. And why are you so attached with the idea of making Korean friends anyway? Like, what is that about? I have to go.